We often joke about how people call giant eagle giant eagles, plural, right? Or giant eagle. And how about if it snows? Everyone goes there to get their milk, their toilet paper, their bread. Well, now a local musician has created his own tribute to giant eagles. Here's rapper Jordan York singing how much he loves the store. Eat a loaf of bread, better drive the giant eagle. Whatever's in your head, you can find a giant eagle. It's not hard to spend, losing time in giant eagle. Looking for me, find me rolling down the island, giant eagle. Need a loaf of bread, better drive the giant eagle. Whatever's in your head, you can find a giant eagle. It's not hard to spend, losing time in giant eagle. Looking for me, find me rolling down the island, giant eagle. I need to learn that dance too. Thanks to Jordan York, YouTube, and Giant Eagle for this fun video. You need to hear the whole song. We have all the verses and the whole thing posted for you at kdka.com slash PTL. It's pretty funny. Now I could sing about how much I love it when Market District Chef Ben D'Amico comes here to cook for us on PTL. In today's cooking corner, you'll see why, because Ben has easy ways for us to entertain during the holiday season, including bringing all of this glorious cheese. <laughs> Look what you've done. <laughs> The holiday season is upon us, yes. and we're, we're going to do some easy entertaining. And, and first, this, this cheese board is actually part of a kit, which is called the uh, Bring Your Own BYOB. Bring Your Own Board. And it comes in this little and bag. it comes in the bag, everything's together, and all you do is open the packages, break up some of the cheese, and you have a very this. easy uh, cheese and charcuterie board to, to entertain. I actually saw this when I was at the Market District uh, in Robinson, and I, I thought, what a great idea, because you can't buy all of this individually for that yeah, price. This so is, it's a it's, great it's a idea. It's a good deal. It's easy. It's, it's a great hostess gift. If, if you don't know, um, you can always ask the cheese uh, uh, team, but this is an easy one step take and, and, and you guys do have a cheese specialist. We do. We yeah. do in the, in the market district. So, <laughs> um, so speaking of cheese, we're going to do something with brie. So they have uh, a lot of times brie. there's brie and croute, which is the brie wrapped in puff pastry you mm -hmm. bake. We're kind of going to do a spin on it, kind of uh, double it up for the holidays. Why so not? We're Let's gonna start, load, We're going to start with our uh, bourbon apricot glaze that's going to go on our brie that's going to go inside this country bowl here and we're going to put it in the oven. So we're going to start with our uh, little bit of bourbon. This is one okay. ounce of bourbon. And, you're and your put pan it in the is hot pan. Yeah, very hot. You'll actually, we're going to light it on fire. Okay, I'm going to step back then. I trust you, but... Um, if it will. Oh. Well, that's... It was working before. It was working before, it, it was, yeah. Here, anyway, let me work on your lighter. You want to burn off some of the alcohol. This is just kind of scent the pan and we're going to add um, about a cup look, of... Look. It's just that the wind is blowing oh, in yeah. here. Yeah, actually, you know what? We're gonna we're gonna do some more lighting of it, okay. so we'll, we'll add that at a I'll later just, point because we're gonna. <laughs> I'll just do this again. You yeah, tell you me did, when you're you ready, Ben. <laughs> so, so we're burning off a little bit of this uh, just to start start scenting some of our apricots. This is about a, a cup of sliced apricots. Okay. And to this, we're gonna add in some brown sugar. You can really smell that bourbon. Yeah, and and a little bit of uh, water. This is gonna make our glaze, and then a pinch of nutmeg, um, just because it adds that little bit of a holiday kind of twist to this. That's more than that brown sugar is going down. Yeah, this so it's gonna it's a very quick sauce. It only takes about seven to ten minutes to make all together. This is great over pork or chicken. Um, and we're gonna top it over brie because it's got this nice sweet heat. So at this point we're gonna try this again. Okay, let me um, get let this me... is about two ounces more of bourbon. And we're... <laughs> okay. All right. Here. All right. You Ready? go. I got it. All okay. right. And then we're gonna there we go. All right. So we are And it's on fire. We are on fire. You're on fire, oh, Ben. <laughs> so this is going to cook off. You just want to be careful to stand back from it. Um, it's just burning off the alcohol because you don't want all the, you just want that flavor of the bourbon um, without all of the uh, alcohol to it. So again, this is going to burn off. It takes about 20 seconds. Um, it's going to help to caramelize and instill that flavor. Yum. And uh, really, you just want to let this simmer for about uh, six, six to seven minutes on the stove. Let um, everything kind of cook down and, and everything cooked down. Yeah. yeah, again, the alcohol's burned off now. The flavor is imparted, and we'll set that aside. Great. Um, when you're all done, it turns into a nice soupy, Ooh, thick look how kind of mixture. Um, and this is cold. Once you warm it up, it starts to get a little more uh, liquidy. Um, so for this, we're going to stuff it this into our bread bowl. Okay. Because um, we're going to put this in the oven. So we have here a. I have some gouda, by the way. I'm snacking. Excellent. Help yourself. Okay. Uh, we have a here a, a country bowl, um, and we're going to cut a diameter about four inches. One thing you can do is actually take like the top of a, a brie lid, since we're going to cut that, and just go straight down. It gives you an idea of how it much gives space you, you need. Exactly, because we're going to put a whole brie right into this bread bowl. 
And you keep the, the rind. You keep the white on. You keep on. the rind on. Yeah, now, now you, you don't have to. A lot of people don't like the rind, which is fine. Um, but it's, it's it's totally edible. It's safe to eat. Um, okay. And it's just just the red texture. That's the texture That's thing. The, some people just don't some like people the texture. Some people just don't like the texture. We're going to pull out most of the meat here. That's the good stuff. Yeah, that's the, so you can, you can <laughs> save this. You can use it for breadcrumbs, croutons. You can use it to, to dip back into it. For right now, we're just going to pop it out and then also just cut off the top of this lid. Okay. Set that aside. And then we're going to take uh, one small mini brie, and I just cut it in half. Um, but first, we're actually going to put some of our glaze in the bottom. Oh, great. And the great thing, you can use this glaze. You can use, we have a bunch of different jams, jellies. Anything sweet or savory uh, works really well for this recipe. Um, that's wow. a little bit of the glaze in the bottom. Then I want to put the brie face up right into the bowl. And more? Oh, we're um, I'm going to put two. Yeah, I'm going to okay. put two in there. And then you can layer. Um, this is a one, the cheese is going to melt and it's going to work out perfectly. We're just going to top it with the rest of our oh, glaze. Oh, my goodness gracious. And... Top it with the bread, and then before we put it in the oven, to just to bring out some of the shine, we want to just make sure we brush it down with it's olive oil, oil. Okay. or butter. Yeah, you can use pan spray too, but this will help the bread to get nice and shiny and crispy um, when you put it in the oven. Looks and then this great. goes in the oven for about 20 minutes. If it if your oven maybe uh, doesn't cook all the way, you can always throw this in the microwave on a microwave safe pan. That'll help to melt your cheese. And I have one I did this morning. Yay! Score. So it's already melted? It's already melted. And this is about 20 minutes. And then to that, you can serve it with some crackers, with some of the extra bread, and just pop that right in the pan. Very nice. And then grab a spoon, and you can see it's all cheesy, melty. Oh. Um, got, got a little bit of the rind there, but this is it's just a bubbling bowl of, of brie. Of goodness. And, and you goodness. can just say goodness. Exactly. So now, it, do you just put a spoon in this? Is this how you would serve it for people? Yeah, you can put a spoon in it. Um, you can also just cut it. I mean, uh, just just to actually cut it down, let the cheese kind of ooze out. Oh, that sounds the side. good too. Okay. Um, that's a cool presentation. And then just top it with crackers, vegetables, anything you'd like. And uh, I've done some other versions too. So I have a ba uh, bacon, onion, jam. I've done a chocolate uh, mm. fig spread too. So. And these are also available. Yeah, those are available in the cheese department. And those are already done. So it, baking brie is very easy. You wrap it in puff pastry. You put a little filling in the inside. And there we go. There. Now you can get a good idea of what this looks like in the inside. Yeah. Cheese, so easy. holiday entertaining, easy recipes, great travel well. Even if you do something like this and get the... You can get that. Yeah, we, we have a wide assortment of cheeses, charcuterie, olives, anything you want for holiday entertaining. It's available at the market. I want you to come to my house and make this We can work on that. <laughs> for a copy of today's recipes, you can visit kdk.cl. We have them posted for you there. And thanks to Giant Eagle Market District for sponsoring the Cooking Corner here on PTL.